The first time I fell in love, I was eight years old. Her name was Jessica Cornwall. Do you know what the F word means? It means that white stuff that comes out of your knee when you pick your scabs off. Nothing's changed in the last 21 years. I've fallen in love 39 times since then, with varying degrees of pain and suffering immediately following. Anyway, after Lisa and I kind of broke up over the uh, dodgeball incident, I went out with this girl Peggy for most of grade nine. What do you mean, went out? What do you mean, what do I mean? <laughs> went out could mean anything. Were you committed to each other? Did you have a designated time and place you met before and after school? Uh, I helped her cheat in algebra once. <laughs> and why most of grade nine? Did you have trouble maintaining long-term relationships even back then? Me? I'm, I'm very... I have to be honest with you, Ed. Go ahead. I'm beginning to question whether you're serious dating material. She was on you like that all night? We started with Jessica Cornwall and ended with the fast I call the last two years. Two? You've been telling me one. Well, there's been encounters. <laughs> What's an encounter again? That means, like, just... Uh, means you don't get laid, right? I'm looking for Mrs. Wright, okay? Can we just drop this? Sorry, Ed. I mean, when she came in to uh, consult that one time, I thought she was really nice. She was like the kind of girl that I would go for if I wasn't, you know, married to your sister. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Yeah, I'm not going to be getting that, so you can go and do what you're doing. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <clears throat> you, you sure you don't want to give it a second chance, this girl? I mean, uh, you know, you add the sex thing, and it makes all the annoying stuff pretty tolerable. No. No, I'm looking for something meaningful, you know? Yeah. I mean, if you do want to bag her after two years with one encounter, what are you going to do, eh? Come on. Look, I will keep trying. I will find someone for you. But the problem with love, the problem I've always had with it, is that it won't leave me the fuck alone. Not for five fucking seconds. Jessica? Jessica Cornwall? Yeah. The Jessica Cornwall from grade five? The Jessica Cornwall. Oh, man, I was in love with her. She was a very sweet girl. Uh -huh. I'll give you 25 cents if you show me your underwear. Herbert? she doing working at the cup at age 30? Is she a loser? What kind of loser is she? She's some kind of loser? You know, you know what? I don't know. I forgot to ask her if she was a loser. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? She's divorced recently, I'm gonna say. Two kids, uh, no income, desperate. You stay as far away from her as possible. Hey, come to my cousin's wedding with me. Um. She said yes? Yes. Wow. Yeah. I'm gonna say she's got three kids. Yeah, she is desperate, and some dude left her high and dry. Ooh. Or maybe she's the one. You know, you never know. Time will tell. Hey, maybe she's not a desperate divorce slut. <laughs> <laughs> My bastard left me with three kids. Three. I never even wanted that third kid. I mean... My figure was wrecked already, but I finally got the weight off from Taylor, and then Simon kept insisting and insisting. And then two months after the baby's run, he leaves me for some bitch at the office. And he says, because he knew I was cheating. You didn't know that? I've never been caught cheating in my life. <sighs> I know what the F word means now. Perfect. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, oh, oh. Um, you don't have any money, do you?
I've fallen in love 39 times in my 31 years. That doesn't count blind dates or casual alley humps. That's simply the times my heart split open and bled love. Come on, Hugo. Let's go home. But what I've lacked in success, I've made up for in perseverance. <laughs>